Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Friday, August the 5th. Following yesterday's blockade of the Transpeninsular Highway by drivers from the Uber platform, Mayor Oscar Legs issued a request to free the Uber drivers that were detained yesterday by state police and elements of the municipal police. In an official communique, Mayor Legs said that he had asked the chief of police, Captain Russell Rodas Moreno, to release all the detainees from Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Cabo yesterday and for them to be released without any charges being pressed against them in order to establish an atmosphere that would allow for free dialogue among the parties that are involved. The official communique also states that the detentions were conducted in Cabo San Lucas and that they were conducted by the state police. Therefore, this being the responsibility of state policemen who requested support from municipal police in order to conduct the detentions. They asked for the support of the municipal police because they did not have enough police elements to fulfill these orders. According to Omar Torres, municipal director of transport, the accusations were for morally offensive conduct, including resisting detention and directly or indirectly impeding the action of the police or any other authority while fulfilling their duties, as well as hindering the performance of police officers. Further to this, Mayor Legs held the first meeting with members of the Uber platform today at the municipal offices in Los Cabos. And in this meeting, it was established that this coming Thursday, August 11, they will conduct the first work meeting with the participation of the municipal and state directions of transport, as well as with the representative of the governor in Los Cabos, Carlos Castro. Mayor Legs added that all actions against Uber drivers will stop until that first meeting that will be held this coming Thursday, August 11. In other news, the Los Cabos Film Festival launched its image for the 11th edition of the festival, which will be held November 9th through the 13th. The festival director spoke of the inspiration behind the new image, and this is what Maru Garzón, artistic director for the Los Cabos Film Festival, said about the 11th edition of the festival and its image for 2022. Full of excitement because we are returning, we're coming back to Los Cabos. We, the last two years we have been living in a digital uh, media, so it's totally exciting to come back here. So the image of this year um, evokes this, uh, this thought uh, and we can see the Mar de Cortés where there is a red carpet emerging from there and there's a person, a woman, uh, that is walking uh, through a big uh, gateway that it's a very shiny uh, gateway that actually is uh, the number, a big number 11 that uh, means the, the 11th edition of the film festival. Uh, we can see also the, I don't know in English how to say, El Arco, the, no? arch, yeah. the arch, the the regular and most emblematic uh, landscape of Los Cabos. And this gateway, uh, it's um, like uh, something where we can cross, first of all, from this pandemic time to the new, new comeback uh, here in, on site and also a gateway where we can uh, find or we can get into another reality to some stories that cinema has to, uh, uh, to tell and uh, offer us to discover. So there's, well, there's several meanings, but we can focus on what we can discover through the cinema experience. Beautiful. We are so looking forward to the 11th edition because there's nothing like watching movies in, in the, the big theater. screen yes, in the theater yes. and we are so happy where is the where is the festival going to take place is it going back to cinemax yes 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 cinemax is our uh, film host mm -hmm. so we are going back to cinemax and to some other venues venues that are about to be confirmed 
Wonderful. Well, looking forward. Best of luck. And thank you so much for returning to Los Caos. Thanks to you. And we'll wait for you from the 9th through the 13th November. And in ATP News, the top four seeds will be playing against each other in the semifinals of this year's Los Cabos Tennis Open. Daniel Medvedev, ranked number one in the world, will face Serbian tennis player Kegmanovic. And Canadian Felix Ojej Alessim will be facing the defending champion Cameron Norris also today. The winners of tonight's semifinals will face each other tomorrow in the finals. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great evening. And remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Riggs and Claudia Vela.